Oh, what a shame. Ha <laughs> ha. One last beard touch for the road. I'm gonna miss you so much. There can only be one. That beard, it just like, it makes the world go around. Like we're all gathered in the shower for your beard. It's, it's powers are actually really amazing. I, I, I don't want to see it go. Thomas, why do, why do you have to like be here instead of the beard? <laughs> <laughs> Thomas just comes with the beard. It's, it's, it's like that package nobody wants. It's dawned upon me that two of the people in this bathtub have never known me without a beard. It's true. And that, that's a really scary, it, it scares a so scary and upsetting <laughs> thought. I got, I got a good one. Life is like a tub, and if you fill too many people up inside of it, you know the facial hair is just gonna have to go. Yeah. Feel um, the. Uh, you know we can shave your shitty chin scruff too while we're at it. I would, I would actually really enjoy that. I, I'm not gonna be the one to do it. I'm way too fucking lazy. It nursed me when I was feeling fucking sick. It was there when my grandmother died. Fuck Thomas. Fucking machine with his shitty ass. I'm gonna fucking miss this. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Man. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. Alright. Oh man, that's perfect. We need to be alone. Get out of here. Get some of those Leave the beard here. <laughs> so, I'm shaving my beard for a show that I'm in. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or uh, Instagram, I'm sure you'll find out more about it. Show your fucking uh, social media. This is going to be the first time in probably two and a half years that I've been clean shaven. And it's a scary. <laughs> Scary thought. Um, so, without further ado, uh, I'm going to I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin. Including the nipple. Including the nipple. <laughs> I'm afraid. Terrified. I don't have the time anymore to slow down and hold on anymore. So there are very few things in life that I could not bear to be without. Thomas's beard is one of them. And I am terrified that once it's gone, pause for dramatic effect, him and I won't be friends anymore. When I texted these words to my little brother, who is coincidentally named Thomas, his only reply was, When I first saw your friend's Thomas's beard, I knew that someday it would be brought up again somehow in conversation. Even from a one-time meeting with the beard, my little brother knew just how important the dynamic of its presence in our tight-knit family of friends was. We have had this beard in our lives for so long that it should really be considered our beard. I'm afraid to lose it. My little fluffy patch of warmth that's always comforts me, it completes the face of a man I look up to, to scapegoat or to make fun of. It's the beard on the dumb face that just screams punch me. That's why I'm scared, terrified. Because if, pause for a second time, then smile warmly at everyone, we lose that beard, we'll lose a friend in the process too. <laughs>